Greetings everyone, with update 30.5 Sisters of Parvos, we have a few general additions that don't really tie into their main coverage videos. Firstly, the Harrow Crucis alternate helmet has been added to the game. You can pick this up for 75 platinum and it will also be available as a blueprint from the Nightwave store. The Cadus melee weapon has also been added to the game with the blueprint being purchased from the in-game market for credits and the blueprint will require 20,000 credits, two neural sensors, 3,000 polymer bundle, 1600 circuits, and one copy of the bow melee weapon to craft in the foundry. Also, Digital Extremes have added the new Ambassador primary weapon to the game. You can find the blueprint and the components within the new Railjack survival missions, or you can purchase it from the market for 225 platinum. Each Ambassador component shares an 8.33% drop chance from Rotation C at their respected survival missions. The Ambassador Barrel drops at the Luckless Expanse in the Venus Proxima. The Ambassador Stock drops at the Aniku Ice Drifts in the Neptune Proxima. And the Ambassador Receiver drops at Fenton's Field in the Pluto Proxima. Lastly, for the Ambassador, the Blueprint does drop from Rotation C from the Lu Yan Node in the Vale, and it has a 16.67% drop chance. Next up, three new community design glyphs and two displays are now available. The glyphs can be purchased individually for 20 plus platinum while the displays are available individually for 30 platinum. The items do follow, that being the Vela Community Glyph, the Gara Prime Community Glyph, Ureli Community Glyph, Ureli Community Display, and the Vela and Parvos Community Display. These aforementioned glyphs and displays, while being made available for individual purchase, can be bought through the Sisters of Parvos Community Art Pack for 100 platinum. For those who farm your Kuva Liches, you can get three new weapons from them, that being the Kuva Heck that now has the additional ability to fire from all four barrels simultaneously, the Kuva Grattler, which reconfigured for maximum lethality, the Kuva Grattler shatters targets with explosive shells, but now reaches maximum fire rate instantaneously. And then there is the Kuva Zar, an even stronger Zar cannon to meet the demands of Kuva Liches, with stronger explosive barrages and long range flak shots. So those are the three new Kuvalich weapons added with update 30.5 Sisters of Parvos. Lastly, general additions. Legendary rank 1 is now available for eligible Tenno. For those who don't know, mastery ranks beyond 30 are considered and titled as Legendary 1, Legendary 2, and so forth. DE have added a new mouse cursor option inspired by Yureli, and you can swap to that in the interface UI customization section of the game's options. They've also added custom spin whoosh sounds and updated the animations for the Kazus Arc melee weapon, and they have added three new challenges, aka achievements, to Warframe. That being squad goals, attain command rank 10, meeting adjourned, acquire all Sister of Parvos weapons, and strategic development, complete all Corpus Proxima Railjack nodes. So those are the general additions with the Warframe update 30.5 Sisters of Parvos, and there's the coverage video of that. Thanks for watching.